Yo, 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 blood. Yeah, I ain't no street artist. I'm a street bomber. I'm here to destroy the streets. I'm not here to sell out like Banksy or that Obey guy. I'm not a shepherd. I don't want no sheep following me. I'm here for me, and that's it. You know, I'm not here to make the town look pretty. I'm not some middle class dis disaffected youth. I'm, I'm for real. I'm for real. I'm a for real. I'm a street destroyer. Uh, I'm oh, sorry, I can't do this any longer. No, sorry, I'm not. <laughs> oh, it's, it, hello, dull bedsit blogger here. Uh, oh, sorry, my voice is still a bit funny. Just a minute. <coughs> yeah, hello, dull bedsit blogger here. That's better. Um, I've, I've been chatting to uh, uh, someone online, and uh, I thought I would tell them. I thought I would. I would tell you my graffiti story. So um, yeah, as if you have, if you've looked at my channel, you'll see there's a few graffiti films on there. I'm kind of vaguely obsessive about graffiti, and I thought I would do a quick little graffiti story about when I did some graffiti. Obviously, I'm not going to do graffiti now. I'm far too old and grown up for that. Sort of thing. So let's take us to um, about 1984. About 1984, 85 or so, in um, you know, in England's early days of uh, of hip hop. This is before uh, Team Westwood bleh, uh, was doing his thing, and um, there was a bloke called uh, Mike Allen who used to do uh, the hip hop, and I used to listen to all of Mike Allen's stuff, and I won. A, um, a book token, uh, an end of year thing at school. And most people spent theirs on something like a dictionary or in some encyclopedia. I bought a copy of Subway Art, which is the seminal graffiti book which kind of spread the words throughout the world about graffiti in New York. And uh, when I bought this book, the first thing my mum said to me, If there's going to be more graffiti in our town, well, I know it's you, so there better not be more graffiti. Which kind of put the fear of God in me. Um, as it should, every young boy should be scared of their mum. But you know how it is, being a, a young boy in these times of... Uh, graffiti reading about it you want to live it as well don't you you just want to live that 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 urban ghetto dream so i um me and a friend we went out and we bought some spray paint this young kids of the modern days with their specially formulated graffiti spray paints um this was special car spray paint color plus uh, you talk to any old school graffiti artist and they'll go, oh, God, colour pus. It was really drippy, very runny. I bought metallic green and I think he bought metallic blue. We went down to the local uh, underpass and decided to do our bit of graffiti. I hadn't really got anything planned. I thought I'd write the word funk. Why not? My friend wrote the word electro. So... I'll try and show you what I did using green chalk. So there you have it. I wrote fun R instead of funk. I was too scared to put the bottom bit in the K. We did this during the day. It is too naughty to do it at night. And um, so that was there for ages. And it actually got onto the front cover of the local newspaper because it looks a bit like it's a rude word. So, uh, part of me, it's one of my regrets that I didn't do very well on that. And I often mess around with fun R rather than funk. Fun R was the first name that the graffiti gave me by chance. So uh, I haven't really written it since. So I'm going to try 
and in chalk again, this time yellow chalk, see if I can write it a bit better with years of uh, mellowing and experience to see if that helps. I don't know, I don't really do graffiti, I just watch it. Let's see. Should we have a closer look at that? Well, let's have a look. Still toy. Glad I didn't carry on doing graffiti, eh? Speak to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.